In today's video, I'm going to teach you how to use DeepSeek Proxy in Janitor AI with a full guide. Whether you're new to these tools or looking to optimize your experience, this step-by-step -step process will guide you through each stage comprehensively. We'll begin by setting up your account and proceed through configuring the necessary settings all the way to testing the functionality. Let's get started on this journey to enhancing your AI interactions. First, you'll need to create an account at openrouter.ai. Simply navigate your browser over to openrouter.ai and sign up. This step is crucial because it will provide you with access to the DeepSeek models you'll be utilizing. Once you've registered successfully and are logged in, let's head over to the Settings tab where you'll find the API key section. In this section, you'll create a new API key. This is an important identifier for accessing the DeepSeek models, so take a moment to generate a new key. Give it a name that you'll easily remember and copy it. Be sure to store this key in a secure location because you'll need it shortly when configuring your proxy settings. With the API key in hand, the next step is to select your DeepSeek model. Still within OpenRouter.ai under settings, you should look for the option to choose your default model. Here, you'll set it to DeepSR1. This selection ensures you're utilizing the intended model for your needs. To further streamline your experience, enable the model training feature found under the Privacy tab. This might seem like a small step, but it's vital to avoid potential errors as you proceed. With these configurations in place at OpenRouter.ai, you're now ready to move on to Janitor AI. To continue, open your browser and visit janrai.com. Here, you'll select a bot that's compatible with proxies. This compatibility is key to ensuring everything runs smoothly. Now, let's configure the proxy settings. Click on the menu, which you'll recognize by its three horizontal lines. Navigate to API settings and select the proxy option. In this section, you'll choose Custom. This is where the API key you previously saved comes into play. Enter it along with any other necessary settings to complete this configuration. Once those details are set, be sure to save your settings. Some systems prompt you to reset the temperature, so if that appears, go ahead and accept it. Next, it's a good idea to restart your AI tabs by closing all generator tabs and reopening them. Doing this ensures all the adjustments take effect properly. With everything set up, it's time to test the chat to verify if the proxy is functioning as intended. A seamless chat experience will confirm that you've configured everything correctly. If you prefer, you can adjust the generation parameters. Many find that a temperature setting around 0.9 offers a good balance, allowing for creative outputs while maintaining coherence. Thank you for following along with this guide on using DeepSeek Proxy in Janitor AI. Your setup is now ready to explore and enjoy enhanced AI interactions. If you encounter any issues, feel free to revisit any steps as needed. Enjoy your experience.